The Active Directory reporting tool is part of the AD Pro Toolkit, and it includes hundreds of Active Directory reports. Um, and, you, and it's very easy to use. You simply just find the report you want, and you can see they're all categorized here. Uh, so for example, I'll run an all users report. So I just click the report. And then by default, it'll run on the entire domain. But if you want to narrow the report down to an OU or a group, just click browse and select the OU that you want. Uh, I'm going to run this for the entire domain. So I'll click run. And you can see it's going to go list all my users. And then um, it's got a default set of columns here. And you can customize these any of these reports by clicking on columns. And then you can add and remove whatever attributes that you want. Um, so if I want to include you know, telephone numbers, street addresses, you know, I just find the attributes that I want and click the arrows. I can move them up or down. You can also add custom attributes. So if there's not an attribute that you see here, you can click add custom attributes to add any custom attributes. Um, and then all the reports, you can search them by clicking the search button here. So if you want to find a specific user, uh, you can also right click and filter. You can sort. There's an advanced filter editor if you wanted to do some advanced filtering. Um, but there's all kinds of reports here recently deleted, created, modified users. Uh, you can find all user SIDs, users with thumbnails, users without a manager. Uh, there's password reports. So you can get users with an old password. You can get user's password expiration date. Uh, so you can see days since password last set, password expiration date. Uh, and some reports have uh, an option to filter. So you want to find passwords that expire in the next 30 days. Um, so you can see there's logon reports, <clears throat> um, group reports, group member reports. So you can look up who's a member of what group or get all group members. Um, there's also a single line one here. So I run this, it's gonna show you the group and all the members in one line. There is also a custom reports option. So if you don't find the report you want, uh, you can create your own reports. So click on custom reports, add, there's, uh, add user report, group report, or add compute report. So if I click add user report, I uh, just you gotta give it a name description you got to set a path and then you can define what conditions you want so if you want to find all users say in a specific department department is accounting and I want to add another condition where and the account status is enabled and then you would define uh, what columns you want to include in that click save and then you would it would be listed here and then you just open your report and click run uh, this one is an example of department where the department field is empty uh, there's also group policy reports so you can find empty gpos unlinked gpos so if i run unlinked gpos this is going to show all the gpos uh, that exist in your active directory uh, but the location is going to be empty. So you can see all, so these are uh, GPOs that uh, are not linked to anything. They're not linked to the domain, to an OU, so they're, they're not in use. Uh, recently created, recently modified GPOs. Uh, there's the built-in scheduler. So if you wanted to schedule any of these reports and have them automatically email you, you would just use this built-in scheduler. Uh, if you wanted to do email reports, you gotta configure your email settings, uh, but you would just click add, select reports, give it a name, enter your credentials, and then just hit next to complete the wizard. You could schedule it to run uh, hourly, daily, weekly, or monthly. Uh, there's also computer reports. Uh, so you can do, you know, you can do reports on all computers, uh, recently created and active computers. So uh, computers that haven't been logged into in a specific time frame. Uh, there is OS-based computer reports. So you just select the OS that you wanted to do a report on to find all Windows 10 computers. I only have one. If I did Windows 11, I 
also got, uh, I've got several Windows 11 computers. Uh, there is OU reports. Um, let's see. So this one's uh, nice because it's going to show you the object count. So you can see how many objects are in each OU. And you can see I got a bunch of empty OUs here. Um, and then there's secu security reports. Um, so you can see admins with old passwords. You can see your domain password policy, your tombstone lifetime, or its functional level. There's lapsed passwords. Uh, I forget which one I have. Okay, there you go. So you can see your get a report of all your lapsed passwords. Uh, there's BitLocker recovery keys. So that is it. As you can see, it's very, very easy to use. You can literally just run a report with a few clicks, find the report you want, find it, click run. Uh, actually, I got a, this one's a different report. I got to put in a user for this one. So this is just, this just shows you all the details for a single account. But again, yeah, super easy to use. Uh, reports can be customized. You can create custom reports. You can add reports to favorite list and you can schedule all reports. That's it. Thanks for watching.